I call it a stink bomb, not a bombshell. That is the criminal defense attorney for Martine Cleves reacting to what some are calling indeed a bombshell. A new woman with possible accusations against the basketball star. Plus, could there be video that is key to the rape case? Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is here now live to break it all down, Jim. Yeah, my sources tell me key evidence is this surveillance video showing the first accuser, the young woman running out of a motel room three times. Cleves runs out after her and pulls her back inside three times. Both are only partially dressed. And now that new bombshell, another possible accuser, that was discussed in court. Our office has been in receipt of uh, some information that there is another victim who uh, may be willing to come forward. So for that reason, um, we think at that time, Bond should be revisited. Mateen Cleves, the former Michigan State basketball star, was not in court for this brief hearing, but now finds himself in what could be deeper trouble. His defense attorney firing back at the possibility of a second victim. His family, his employment, his reputation, it, it's all been put into play. And then you throw a, a stink bomb into the room like they did today. We're going to try to win at all costs and regardless. Is there a political motive? Is it because Mr. Cleves is who he is? The evidence against the 39-year-old Cleves, so far he was hosting a golf outing last September and took a 24-year-old woman to this motel and room 121 in Mundy Township, south of Flint. Cleves is charged with criminal sexual conduct and unlawful imprisonment, up to 15 years in prison if convicted. Sources say motel surveillance video will be key evidence, and the judge ordered today it will not be shown on TV when played in court. Sources say the new possible accuser may be a woman who was in the same room and had sex with Cleves when the room was first rented by Cleves earlier in the day. And to further complicate the case, a Monday Township cop who investigated was suspended when he wrote in his police report there was no probable cause to make a case against Cleves. Was he correct or starstruck, giving a break to Cleves? Either way, the case will be a slugfest as it plays out. When you have a, a 1 800 call in against Mateen Cleves, what does that tell you? It tells me that they have no case here. Now, the evidence against Cleves will be presented where the case is happening up in Flint. The date on that is June 28th. The defense attorney wants that first accuser's testimony in court also shown on TV. The judge says she will rule on that later. But listen to this. We have a standard policy right here at Channel 7, as do most stations. We do not show an alleged rape victim on TV unless she chooses to tell her story on TV. The battle just beginning in this one. Carolyn? Right about that, Jim. Far from over. Thank you much. Well,